Hydrogenitis superativa is a chronic inflammatory skin condition that uh, predominates in traditionally underserved populations, including women and African Americans. Uh, it's characterized by inflammatory nodules and abscesses in the groin, in the axilla, basically in the skin folds, and the, it is a disease that can be incredibly painful. Uh, for for decades really, due to misdiagnosis and underdiagnosis as well as the stigma and the shame associated with this condition, we've really not understood how prevalent it is. We thought it was a rare disease. Uh, but now thanks to great uh, population-based studies and new data, we know that HS is common and it hugely impacts the lives of the people who suffer with this condition. This condition, hydrogenitis superativa, has been largely neglected by the medical community. And unfortunately, we don't have uniformly effective therapies for this disease. Uh, there's only one FDA-approved drug on the market. Um, it's a systemic medication called adalimumab. Um, and uh, although it exists and it's wonderful to have an option, it doesn't work for everybody. So we really need more research. Um, to better understand what causes HS so that we can develop better therapies for this disease. And the other important thing that needs to happen now is that we need to start listening to the people who suffer with this condition and understand what their needs are, what they are looking for in terms of improvement of this condition. We need, we need to hear their voices. We've known for a while that diagnostic delay is common in hydradenitis superativa. Uh, we now have data that shows that patients see doctors five or more times before they even get their diagnosis of HS. And this can equate to a median uh, diagnostic delay of seven years, which is tremendous. Imagine having a painful condition for seven years before anybody told you exactly what it was. It's horrific. Um, what we know though is that if patients can get to knowledgeable providers, they can get this diagnosis in a timely way. Uh, and the data that we have to date shows that often that knowledgeable provider is a dermatologist. Uh, it's not necessarily um, the best solution. I think ways that we can improve access is to improve knowledge about HS across the multiple specialties that often are seeing these patients, primary care, pediatricians, surgeons, as well as dermatologists, uh, so that these patients can be diagnosed in a timely way and get effective therapy while their disease is still mild. So um, thanks to all this great data we have on the burden of hydradenitis superativa, there is new interest and new funding opportunities to better understand what causes HS and ultimately to better uh, to provide better treatments for patients with this condition. Um, so it is, it is increasingly important that we diagnose this condition early and um, catch these people in the early stages of their disease so that we can offer them these treatments that exist and are coming down the pipeline. And the fact of the matter is, now that we know that HS is common and now that people who live with this condition and suffer with it know that there are treatments, we are going to see more and more of these patients in our practices, so it's incumbent upon us um, to identify them and provide timely treatments for them.